you going guys? So, I was actually just going back through one of Arco's videos. It's actually, I think it's the biggest one. Um, biggest view one. It's almost 300,000 views. But um, I was just reading through some of the newer comments on it. Um, and there was a guy there who was really surprised that you could weld panel steel with a MIG. Um, which is, you know, I've seen people do it for years. But, um, so obviously he didn't understand how you weld panel steel with, with a MIG and not make a, a bloody mess. And to, to be honest, like years ago, um, I made a mess. But um, like there's a lot of little just simple tips that if most people knew when they started to weld bodywork on cars, doors, guards, whatever, um, if I'd known some of these tips years ago, I wouldn't have made a mess. Um, even if you're a beginner, I think if once you got your welder set up, um, which with panel steel, like you just want nice light wire. Well, I think I've got 0.9 of a mil in there. Um, whatever the equivalent is to that in America, I'm not sure, but I'm using the, basically the same wire that Arco's using. Um, and um, I'm on 240 volts with 180 amp McWilder. Um I'm rating, running about 70 amps at the moment and my wire speed is okay, it goes up to 10 I'm running somewhere about 2.5 wire speed on this welder. Um, every welder is different um, this has got a voltage thing on it as well which is really confusing and it took me a while to get this dialed in but um, we're talking to Arco, managed to get this welder dialed in because just about every other welder I've used just has got a wire speed and a, um, like your amps or your power, um, depending on how it's um, written. But this is a little bit different, it's got and other things too, so it took a wee bit to get it dialed in. But now we've got it dialed in, it welds pretty good. Like, probably if I, somebody here that's done a lot more welding, like probably Arco, he would probably dial it in even better, but it's working for what I want it. But anyway, um, so I'm still welding on this guard here, or fender, depending on which part of the universe you're in. Um, I thought I'd actually just show you, because you've probably all seen in my videos if you've been watching what I do, but I'll just run through the steps of what I do um, to keep the panel steel under control. Um, because, yeah, I've seen guys, you know, and they they run a beta weld down a panel steel and all of a sudden you know you may as well throw the guard away well or you get a shitload of work to get it to come right because it's just all over the place um i'll flip this camera around and i'll show you uh -huh. so turn the camera around and i thought this was an ideal short video tip welding panel steel so i've welded i started about here and i welded all the way down here and i just welded it continually i didn't jump round um what you could do like you could uh, i know arco does this but i just find my way easier but anybody or well, arco would probably go here and he's about i don't know about five six inches apart and here and here and then and just keep going like that and take your time and just let it cool in between you know and you could cool it with air or a wet rag in a bucket and just cool the panel so it keeps that heat down. Um, I I just happen to find ear, just you know, an air gun. Sorry about the jumpy work, and I haven't got my bloody ear gun plugged in. But you know, just an air gun in the end and just a couple of tacks or a couple of spots or even just one and just cool it and then another one and cool it and another one and then cool it. And when I've got about, when I've done sort of two or three, I've actually started doing this recently. I'll do a couple of tacks. And I'll get a dolly in behind if you can. Okay, obviously on a door or something like that, unless you've got good access, you can't. But on a panel like this, you can. Get a dolly in behind and and give it a bit of a decent hammer and dolly. Like don't go stupid, don't really wail on it, but give it a decent give it a decent um with a hit with a hammer and that'll help flatten that weld out and push it back out instead of it pulling. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do. So yeah, I'll do a couple of spots, 
and then yeah, hammer and dollar and cool it, and then go again. A couple of spots, hammer and dolly, cool it, because um, it just helps keep that, keep it spread out and not pulling on and bowing up or bowing in, um, and just keep a nice. This is probably yeah, it's probably not bad for gap. Keep it just a nice little gap between your panel steel too, because it gives it somewhere for the panel to, to move. Because if it's butted hard up, it'll push in or push out and give you a shitload of trouble. But if it's got a nice little gap there, it's got somewhere for that metal to move before you hammer and dolly it, and that'll stop it from warping. So, what I might do is I might set this um, phone up if I can somewhere, and I'll, I'll do a, a few bits and I'll just show you how I do it. Hold right on. Right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. So, I'll do a few welds along here and cool it and hammer and dolly it and show what I do. And then I blow a hole in it. There's gases and on. <laughs> Alrighty, so what's happening when I'm hammering that is it's keeping that, it's making the, ma the metal maintain that gap so it doesn't keep pulling in and pulling in, get tighter and tighter and tighter and then start bowing. And obviously now, it's, it's not too bad for heat but it's just getting a little bit in it. So that's cool. Well and truly cool enough I can hold my hand on it. No problems at all. So that's the trick to welding with a MIG. Keep that small gap, one or two tacks, hammer and dolly it, cool it. If you have to, again, hammer one or two tacks, hammer and dolly it, cool it. And just not just no distortion on that panel whatsoever. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes and the more familiar you get with it and before you know it you know it's easy to be honest um, I'm still learning self-taught um, with the odd instruction here and there and um, yeah so basically now I would probably I might come up to here grind it off clean it off give it another hammer and dolly fix this piece and then carry on down there and I always like to try and start on a Start on a spot weld if I can, and then just slowly build on that weld and just keep coming back. So I'll carry on and do a bit more.
Bye, baby. Okay, you can see that look it's not perfectly ground off but as you can see there it's beautiful it's no problems there got a little pin hole there to fix but no we'll that down there we'll that down there um it'll be good and then i can finish the bottom another week actually just another week quick tip if you are in a place If you're in a place where it's a bit dark, you get the welding helmet on and you're struggling to see when you've got your helmet down, um, torch. I'll fix this first. <laughs> it's a good old headlamp. Just going to happen to be in a slightly dark spot, dark corner of a shed or something like that, and you haven't got access to a decent light, headlamp works good, especially how cheap they are nowadays. Alrighty. So thanks for watching guys, that's awesome. So um, give us a thumbs up or a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell for when new content comes out. And if you love this kind of... Um, stuff go watch my brother at um outlaw ridge arco and my good buddies um jeff and dave at sober and restoration and another good buddy of mine um is terry coverman 66 so go watch those three channels and um yeah hit that bell give us a thumbs up and subscribe cheers guys